so uh, button is one of the basic thing as promised from last time there will be very less amount of theory and more of practical development so as soon as you uh, set up the deveco you can start uh, doing this parallelly along with me in every session and wherever you get issues we can solve it together debug it together and learn it better so till now we saw text that is a basic component that comes into picture it can be decorated with multiple style factors now we will discuss with the another basic component that is button button is one uh, very uh, base component where usually it gives one feedback a binary feedback the whether it is a positive negative once it clicks you know for which you are uh, defining that button whether you get a positive feedback and for the other button you get a negative feedback if you have multiple buttons but in harmony we have different types of button for different uh, use cases today we will learn many of them so one of the most common that we use is capsule button for the theme of harmony that uh, captures it so here you can see i am just defining the name you can write any name here and then you give on click you make it as next page we will see why i am doing it as next page later you see once you do it usually gives a, gives this one there are two ways of uh, styling this one one you give the class you can make it as capsule button right then go to css here you can give it as dot capsule button here you can increase the size maybe here you can even make it as 30 pixel see this this is one way so this is a common css practice that we should follow for simplicity what i uh, will do in today's session try to show another way of doing it where within a html also you can do the same thing where what you do here you will just add style where we also give font size the same you can add right now let's use this 20 pixel you can see there is a change then so this is a basic button let's go with another option where inside a button you can insert a icon so let's see whether we have an icon here in our place where we go to our common images we don't have so usually in our resource file we have a icon right our device we will just copy paste over here for easy access and we will try to add that button i will give uh, type make it as a circle so circle usually accepts also an icon here icon are, is present in common images to so just say you can see here we have a icon uh, button this also goes with the same convention of on click so all those things you can implement this also follows same principle of a regular button but the way how the button is defined is different next there is a button with type even text we can define in this so here you once you go with text automatically you need to give a value so it's as simple as uh, this this see here so you can see on the left hand side the size is all increasing here okay? right so then we uh, go with there is another option called as download so when you are doing a download how does it go so maybe download we will come next we will see another simple thing 
that is called as waiting. Whenever you have clicked some uh, button and you are waiting for some operation to execute, we can use this waiting. Where you define it as this, but there is another feature where you can define it as waiting. So you can also give, maybe you can make it as a string for loading. Here you can see how the loading is getting. Uh, maybe I will increase the font size. I hope uh, we are understanding here and there is no much issue. I increase the size even that thing is very easy. You can see the system level rating uh, is here. So in this way, we can actually uh, showcase these are simple button options. The next one, what I will show button option, it is more for uh, where we use it for downloading option. So let me build that one now. So these are very straightforward. So that's why I have shown this. So next we will go with uh, Going to showcase, I want to show some progress. So this is something if you do, nothing will get generated. So I need to do something in my JS. I need to define few of this that is not existing. Let me see. I need to define. Um, I need to define all these things. Right? So let me do that. Now. Let me uh, if I do this automatically you can see the string is uh there. this is not the preferred one, mind you. This is only for explaining the components faster. I don't want to use multiple files and confuse it. So I'm just uh, showing this. So you also should not uh, go to that method at all. So we have the method here. Here, uh, after doing, I want to create a feature where uh, while downloading, how to show the progress. So on click of this, we will increment that function and showcase it like a download function. So to increment that one, I will in, uh, initialize one um, variable to increment. So whenever I, there is a click of a button, so I will do I hope you guys are aware of uh, what I am doing here, what kind of increments I am doing. So the main uh, operation is this. Maybe you guys can concentrate this. Where I'm trying to access uh, the element and try to set the progress of it. So here we have, I think we gave a DLD. So there is a method called set progress here. So here I can set the element progress and give the number. Well, that is what we are doing to you now. This is so this is a little bit different than till now whatever we have done. So if you guys have any doubt here, uh, ask me on this. 
So once I do here, can you see this? What is happening? So we are getting one uh, undefined. Let me try it. So if you see here, you guys can see, I'm trying to increase the percentage and showcase here. There are two things that is happening here. Uh, the progress bar that you are seeing, that is also filling and also the string that we are doing here is also changing. How am I doing here? So here I created a very simple uh, way, a variable which holds the string within the button. So I went back here. Initially I gave it as downloading. If you see, if I refresh here, initially it will show as downloading. Okay, initially it is showing as downloading. So once I click, how do I click? Because I have uh, given on click a method. So that method I have, uh, that function I have defined here. Initially I have created a 5%. So the moment I click, the first time it will become 15%. That's what it is here. So that number, I want to display it within uh, the progress instead of download. So that's why I'm just doing. This is a binding that has happened. So whenever I change here, automatically the view is getting changed. And to set the progress of the download, the progress bar that comes here, you can see here a very small increment of uh, the blue, light blue is happening. That is because I'm setting the progress here based on the operation. I hope this is clear for everyone. If any doubts, we can take a pause or else uh, we still have a lot of things to cover. So we'll go to the next one. So next one I would like to show is uh, a divider. A divider is something that you usually use in lists or any of the UI behavior, right? So you directly write a simple divider. So how easy it is to do that when we so let me create a separate div for this so that we don't get confused. So then I will introduce my component, another simple component that is divider. Divider can be of any way. So it has a vertical variable where I can set it as false. It uh, maybe let me show it, then we will see what is the issue with the regular default. Right? If I show here, if you can observe, there is a very, very mildly, minor uh, line that has come. That is because that is a default way of showing the stroke width and the color. First, let me increase the stroke width and show uh, you guys whether it makes sense to see that one. And then we will add some color. Let me add a very bigger one so that it is very prominent for us to see. I hope you hear you can see. If it is not visible, there is another way I will resolve it. So since uh, that stroke is light gray, what I am going to do is I will add a color to this. Color is also very easier one. So I can add any. See, it's a prominent uh, thing that comes in. Usually dividers won't be so big. The default might be somewhere around three pixels. You can see that makes more sense. So divider is a very simple one. Uh, last time we had also used, uh, if you guys remember, we were using uh, an image, right? We were using image for it. So let us in, uh, see how image can be used. So what is the image? Image needs a source, right? From where we are getting this. So let us take from common to know this. And we have a background TV image. So let us take it as the background TV. That's it. So just save. So loading image is so simple, right? So what we can do uh, in these things additionally is 
you can uh, tell the size. What is the size you have to use this image with? You can embed within a very small component. And that way, uh, it will help you to showcase the image or all these components in the way you want. We will see some of those things again in the coming weeks. There is another important uh, input method that is uh, very important that we use. That is our uh, checkbox or radio box. Right? Input is something that is very important. Even in input, there is a type called button. Again, you might have seen this as a regular thing. So you might ask, what is the difference between this button and a button component itself? So the basic difference is input as a component is different types of uh, input that you can give to the system and some of the predefined default settings and some of the default operations that you can perform. But button by itself has so many different features in these days. So in Harmony, you can see an extensive features as a button component itself. So you can use this also, a direct button. Even that works. You can see here why it is not there because we are not going to move on. See here, that also comes. So you don't have to define again as capsule or anything that comes in the, the button component. Itself. Now, I don't want to discuss about this. I want to discuss about another type called checkbox. So checkbox is something that is a very useful one. So where we can give value. So once you say this, you can see on the bottom, suddenly there is a checkbox. If I click on this, it checks. But currently, it is not having any value. Right? So this doesn't come into picture for different values. So you need to provide options. There is another way of doing the same. That is creating a label for anything, any component that you are doing. So how do you do that? Uh, let me do another thing. It is very good practice to have an ID for each and every component so you can access that in JS as well as link it with different components using ID. So then the, one of the major thing you have to give for a checkbox is target that is So this, uh, why this is needed? So whenever you do any operation, so it is always attached to the checkbox. But here I see one very big problem. Checkbox is up and the component uh, checkbox, but its label is up and it is down. That is because the entire component in CSS, here in flex, you are given it as a column, flex direction. So one simple way of avoiding that is create a div, change the flex direction and create a row. It gets aligned in a very simple way. So let's do that. So we have a div. Usually we just create a div first. Then just add the style here. Style, as I said, it's flex direction. Okay. See, it already gave the option. So all these uh, components I'm showing in terms of uh, UI so that we can start using it right away. Each of it also has a JS component. Whenever you do, uh, like for example, download, like we saw here, whenever a download button is clicked, how it progresses, how we are going to manipulate it. In similar with checkboxes on check, uh, if you see here, on click, you can add on click over here and uh, understand there is a click that happened for that particular checkbox. So there are many things that we will do for each of these inputs. 
there is another simple text component called Maric. Uh, or Maric is uh, there are many ways of saying this. So let's uh, so let's instead of me telling it's very easy to show this way. So once you do, usually what uh, this does, it usually rolls over. Let me, excuse me. You can see here, if it is not uh, filling the space, it just crawls through it. There is a, uh, there are different variables here that you can manage in the timing, in the amount of uh, space that needs to be given for each rotation whether it has to go from left to right, right to left. So all those things uh, you will find it in the documentation. Today we will also see how to read the document and how you can understand more features. I think we have filled this page. Now let us take a new page and explore some more. Right? So let me do that. So how do we uh, insert a new page? It's very simple here. Yeah? Just create a new page. Once you do that, you can see there is a folder there. So automatically three files will get generated. So one thing we can see is I wanted a thin scaled uh, container. So I'll just change this because it has a, a smaller window. The pixels are uh, very small. So that is the only thing I will change or else if you see the preview here, you can see Again, it is hello world. That's the only text button that is there. So I don't need text, so I'll avoid this. Let's take a little bit next notch here. We will go to the next one. To go to the next page, what you should do? Usually you should uh, create a route and then launch the new page. So let us learn that also today. So uh, today we have already created an on-click button here in the index. So in index, I will directly go here and implement that. Right. So one important thing before using a router, we need to import the router. So it's very simple again. So you just have to import router from the system router. Then once you have that, you just have to do router dot push. So here we will use the URI to know which page you are accessing. So it is URI. Yes. Where are we going? First page. That is a folder name and the page name. So if you do this, it, it tries to go to the uh, page. Let us preview that also. The preview is so powerful, it can even do that. So let's see if it is working. So it works and it is trying to go to the next page. But instead of this, let's try to run and see whether it works. Or I hope by now you are aware what is the difference between a previewer and an emulator. Previewer is just loading of this uh, HTML, CSS, and JS, and it will try to give you the information from the uh, static information that is available. Whereas the emulator is a remote, uh, remote simulator, so it will uh, behave same as a real device. So we have not created anything. So this is a page two that it has gone, right? So this part is working fine. This we implemented just to have the continuation. 
of our uh, application, if you go to one page, you need to then move to the next page, right? So for that reason, we are doing. So let us go back to our HTML and implement some more basic components. See what all we can do here. So next, uh, let us take another. Let us implement a menu. Menu now. So menu is also a very uh, interesting feature. As the name says, and in many of our uh, applications, we always need a menu, right? So let's see how easy it is to develop in Harman menu. So for all these things, I will also share you some of the uh, code labs where I will provide the functionality for each of this, where you can learn how to implement these menus and also use as a functionality. All right. So menu usually needs what? It needs options. So options needs value. So very simple thing. I'm not quite fancy things over. Change. Yes. So if I say what happens, menu doesn't appear. That is because menu needs a triggering factor whenever uh, you click it has to trigger one operation that is the menu right so we have to implement that so i will show that also now So let us implement a simple button. Our favorite type is capsule. Let us implement a method. So a button is there, once I click, nothing happens because I need to implement this method in here. Yes. Let us get to this. So what do we need to do in here? Yes. We need to create, try to access that element to access that element, what do we need? We need to we need the menu ID. So we'll take this use like class time to access any element. We use element annotation here, and then give menu ID, and then do a show. So one uh, operation we can also do here is where we want to show this. Let us first see this how it works, and then go back to this. So you can see here, when I click menu, it is showing at the top right corner. Right? This is not how we have to show the menu. So I can also define a predefined place. I'm just defining our center location. Where it's in here. So now if I show the menu, it shows somewhere at this point. So the same thing we can relocate uh, the showing of the menu in different places. If you want, I uh, will just brush through again. So menu definition is this itself. So you are already informing the menu over here. But to load the menu, we have to uh, via code you need to show, show the menu. So how do we show the menu? We have a triggering point that is the button. So based on that, we can directly show the menu. There is another callback life cycle that comes. I think you would have seen. There is an on in it that comes. So even in on in it, you can implement the same code here, what we have defined. And it will show this menu item without even triggering anything. So we can have different ways of showing it. I prefer to choose a button to trigger my, uh, that's it. So let us move back and see what else we can do. Another important thing that uh, comes to our head whenever we are doing uh, uh, menu or anything is 
a select option. So select is also something like a uh, drop down uh, component that is also very simple in Harmony. So let us implement that. It also goes with options. So anything child, uh, any UI component which needs a uh, children that needs to be added apart from its own children classes, there is another way of giving uh, input is options. So option is the one that we are seeing here. So same as value one, maybe we will give another one here, index. Now you can ask why there is your writing index in two different ways. So whenever you do a select, on select, the JS can expect some value as input. So this is that value that we will give to as input. The display portion, this is what you want to show it over here. So this is again, another simple thing. So once you see, you can see here. So here we see two menu items. Maybe I will show this, maybe this will be a little bit different. So index one and two. So it is just what we have defined here. So another, apart from this, what else we usually do? Menu, select items. We usually take care of another important thing called picker from user. Picker is usually uh, based on uh, date, time. So if you ask some user, select your date of birth, uh, date of marriage or any other uh, specific information that you will do. So you give a lot of options, different ways. Harmony provides a basic operation the, with very simple things that we will try to see now. It's called as picker. So it has picker and picker view. So we will explore both of them, what picker does and what picker view does. So let us see picker. Columns. columns, I will come back. Why column? I will tell you and delete it. So. so, I want to do a picker for date. So in this also, you have many things, date, time, time, names. There are so you can create your own custom pickers also. So that's it with picker. But once you do, nothing comes. Because one of the main thing about uh, picker is, again, the trigger. So we have not defined this. So let us go back here. So So once I do the, you can see here, currently it is giving today's date and time. Am I audible, guys? Yes, yes. Wilfred? Yes, okay. you are audible. Because uh, it showed internet is not stable. So, it just it. so here you can see, you can do the picker. You can see any of the dates, years. You can easily pick. So it is so easy to do. I just did some two lines of code and this is done. Picker and this. So here it needs an external way of uh, maybe uh, usually what uh, is the thing you will usually write here. Uh, you will write, select your data. Okay? See, once you click here, this comes. So that's how we usually do. 
So what if by default you need to uh, select something? For example, your login time. Somebody want the it is very evident that you want to do so. Instead of triggering another view, we can embed a uh, view. That is your clicker view. So the view is embedded within that. And the columns here means what are the columns you want to actually show. So here, instead of uh, date, this time let me give just time. So you can see the different varieties of pickers that we can include. Date, date time, multi text, you can write anything there. Are, uh, that input also we can give. What are the text you want to select? And this time we will directly select a simple time. So end it, just save it. You can see here what has happened. So it is directly, uh, you can directly pick this, right? See, it's already taken it. So this is with ease that you can implement some of these features. So next, uh, this is occupying more time. So, uh, sorry, more space, I'll remove this. So we we'll have this back. Then we have another important thing. I think the progress. Uh, I think uh, these days without a progress option, our, our components will not be sufficient. So let's implement a progress. There are again different types of progress. Let us see what are the different progresses that can be there. Progress model. Okay. So progress model has its own uh, types again. There are different types of progress again. Uh, what is a progress? It shows uh, the status of the current operation that we are doing in pictorial fashion to use it. So user knows if uh, we're downloading a movie, how much more time you have to spend or how much more time it will take so that he has to wait to do a certain operation. This can even happen in background. One uh, harmony specific one is uh, scale ring. So it needs to be given certain inputs like the beginning percentage. This you can do it dynamically. Now I am doing everything statically. So once I do this, you can see what happens. So it is trying to show how much. Uh, so this is the amount of ring that needs to be there. So you can see here, I'm not sure this kind of coloring is very visible. It's time. It is a preset. We need to change the entire decoration to change. Here, there are actually three components here. The, here, we are trying to show a primary percentage where a multiple jobs can be done. So here you can show that way. And uh, there is a secondary percentage which will show the total amount of percentage in the overall job that needs to be done. And the grayish area where it won't be completed. So this you can accommodate in terms of types of downloads where you already got 30% uh, downloaded and you're resuming. So it is a 70% download that is pending. But the current download is progressing at 10%. So that kind of information can be shown. There is another, if you want a regular one, this is a regular one. There are 100% is there and the ring uh, darker color will show you how much is the percentage that you can show. Then we have... Uh, uh, Then we have circular. I think it also follows similar theme. Okay. 
So you can see this how it is. This is a permanent one, right? So it will be going on and on and on. So it is, it is basically an infinite uh, based progress. Then we have ellipse. Sorry, eclipse. So this is based on how you show uh, moon is uh, eclipse or full moon. So based on that also we can show this to be how it is uh, progressing. So there are different inbuilt uh, progress that is there that can be used and can be showcased. Another uh, easier one that we usually use right now is QR code generation. So that is quite simple here. Usually in an application developer side, if anybody wants to develop a QR code, usually how do we develop? We uh, develop using uh, another SDK which generates a QR code and gives you the QR code. In Harmony, this is the simple component that we develop. So let me uh, type value can be anything that the QR code needs to hold, right? So the let us give uh, a very simple one. It can be anything, even it can be a regular number. And you can also give what is the type of uh, thing you need here. Okay. And you can see what happens. See, it becomes so easy, it has generated. If you guys have your scanner, you can just uh, scan this and see whether the same information is there or not. The same thing, you can make just a numeral. It can be anything, basically. See the entire QR code changes just like that. So that is the power of uh, some of the UI components that are there. And these are developed based on the usage that is available for uh, regular application development. Another uh, very good feature, maybe this is QR code is also there in different way. That is in circular way. You can see the same QR code becomes circular. And in style, you can also do the coloring of it. See, it gets changed to a new color. So then uh, we have another, uh, I think we, will, we have a thing called rating. So rating you would have seen, right? Now all of us go to any other place based on rating. So why not implement a rating itself? So it use uh, how many stars you give as maximum. Normally we have a five star rating right, every day. What is the current rating it holds? And we have three, three star. So let us see what it happens. You can see here how it has given. We will remove this focus in here. So now you can see clearly how uh, easy it is to do that. So with 3.5 weeks, it does work. So 3.5 stars or even 4 stars we can do. Uh, it's so easy to develop this kind of a component. Usually if we had to do all these things, we had to think so many features. Right? We had to import another component, how it provides a feature. So here everything is embedded here and we can do. Another thing that we do is what? Uh, search, select we have seen, search we can see. So select usually means, uh, sorry, search usually means something hint, what needs to be given as hint over there. Search, this is just a uh, hint text. Next, it is a search button. What, what is a button we want to see? This picks it up from the uh, system itself, the icon. So we have on search also. On search, once you have search, what do you want to do? Uh, search dictionary, something you want to do in that way. 
So there is another option. I think Archana would have already showed. Instead of on, you can also use at the rate for the same feature. Right. So on the down, you can see what has happened here. The moment I did a search, already it has given all this information. So I can do a search, type it over here. Once I click here, there is no, oh, this is a preview, so it is not launching. The same thing, let us go back, execute it on a device and come back. Then we have done a lot of things. Let's see on device, how does it look? I might have done a little bit fast because these are pretty simple, straightforward. And uh, as I told, if we try to do with me, if you start doing with me, it will be very easier for you. You also will understand how easy it is for us to do these kind of things. I think uh, the resources are busy. Hold on. I will not waste the time. Anyway, this entire code I will give it to you and uh, we will continue. And again, at the end, we will again try to. So, we wanted to see how the preview looks. As we saw before, it is same as how it will show on a device. Since we are working on uh, media pack. You can see how it looks in different things. This is also similar to a media pack. So this is how it is looking in India. So next we have come to uh, some of the core features we have completed. Let us see what else we can add. Uh, then we have something uh, like a slider. You would have seen a slider right? to increase the brightness, reduce the brightness, what all we do. So that is using slider. Even that is pretty simple here. Yeah. So you just give the slider. Uh, I think it needs, we can always see control uh, space. It will show all the basic features that is available for a component. So it, minimum is zero. And you see here, again, I can select here maximum. Maximum can be, uh, I would say, around 80%. And what should be the current value? The value can be around 20%. And that's it. First slider is ready. So here I can also increase it and decrease it. Right. So what happens in the regular code is uh, whenever a slider changes on change value. So we can have these things. So on change will be called whenever you do, this is a dummy thing. So, so whenever I change this, this method will get called because I'm calling a on change. So the corresponding JS will understand what is the percentage of change that has happened. If some functionality needs to be done, it will be done. All right. So Another important thing that you would have seen from the very beginning of Android or even iOS or any uh, smartphone is a switch, a on or switch, a very simple one. So let's see how to do that one. I think you just have to do switch. That's it. So switch gets generated. But being its harmony, it provides few additional features. What are those? You can actually show text to on the switch itself. So let's see that one. So to do that, one thing we need to do is you need to implement a feature called show text. You have to make it true. Then what is the text that uh, needs to be done? Then this is on 
we can say class on text off we can also give class off you can see here it is working class on class off when it is off it is showing off but it is not doing looking good right so one easier way is always we have a lot of style factors to handle one simple thing is the problem is because the text is we are not able to accommodate so let us add a little bit of padding to the text itself so that will solve our problem hopefully so let's see so it has added this you can see so at the same time since style component is there what are the other things we can do we can increase the size of the text so the more size you add the bigger the switch looks so we need to follow the theme what we are following in the entire application what is the size component we need to discuss with the designer uh, ux designer what is the right size we will use in the entire application based on that we fix the size height ratios all the design elements okay so next after the switch uh, i think uh, we are almost coming to an end uh, huh, there is a bottom bar or a toolbar it is something like uh, some of the features that are readily available at the bottom where we can do many things like uh, uh, let's say uh, take your call uh, contacts at the bottom usually you will see two or uh, two to four actions that can be performed one is your contacts favorites emergency contacts or messaging many things can be embedded inside them so let us implement that part now let's see it's called toolbar So let me implement this first and let's improvise on that. So toolbar doesn't take options. Toolbar takes toolbar items as uh, options. So let's say toolbar item. So it can even accommodate icon and also value. So what can be the value? The search name that you want to display, that can be the value. Maybe you can give it as search. And to give the icon, we can use system icons. Now I want to show how we can use our inbuilt resource icons. So you can see a uh, bar is created in that uh, there is a search option. But one problem with this is it is not it is somewhere in between, right? We don't want this kind of a tool. What uh, what is our bottom bar? That's why it's called as bar bottom toolbar. One of the key thing is it is always stick to the end, and it is at the bottom. So that we need to configure over here. So how do we configure that? Go to toolbar again, go to the style configurator, then we will give the position. We have uh, two or uh, three options here. We will stick with fixed, and we also want to make another thing that to the bottom it has to just stick there. So, the moment I do this, you can see uh, it comes to the bottom and this sticks over there. So, now everybody might ask, now we are uh, doing. Uh, you are familiar with this. That's why you are uh, able to do it past or how many features are there, how do we know? So that is where uh, our important uh, information comes into picture. That is understanding the APIs and what are the features it has. So uh, let me share that now, how to do that. I hope my screen is visible now. So if you see here, if you go to Harmony documentation and reference, 
let me show it from the beginning so it won't be like a magic of okay. your so this is our harmony so we i want to see uh, the documentation in documentation there is called as reference so in reference usually you will find all the api lists of different types uh, whether it is java js or eds so as i said before currently the eds emulator is not available for us that's why i am not showing uh, js uh, ts based api lists once uh, that is up we will have another session where i will quickly brush through all the similar components in ts and the containers all the things and where we can see how it is developed in ts also in ts it is much more object oriented it is much more easier to do many things here uh, we have to do the changes in three places html uh, css and js there everything you can do it in a single place so here you can see js reference api and uh, javascript based apis in components today we are covering basic components let us see uh, label what label does so for anything you pick you have to actually see or let us take with go with button so button when you go to button because it has more features i wanted to elaborate here one important thing you need to see is for which type of device it is applicable here you can see it is available for phone tablet uh, smart tv and wearable so this is available for all the components some of the permission it needs is internet because if you are given a path for a cloud like how we used our uh, let me show what we did so one thing we did was uh, we implemented a button uh, circular button where we used a icon only right so the same thing you can give a path of a uh, different uh, icon from the internet so for that we need a permission of internet so attributes are the ones using which you can enhance you can make everything in a different way so now you can see different types of uh, buttons capsule circle text arc arc is something that is uh, applicable only for uh, smart watches or wearables basically so uh, we didn't concentrate on this you guys can try this also so apart from this you can see for every attribute that is applicable for a component you will have all the information apart from attributes what are the things you can configure in style its text style font size whether you whether the system if it is allowing to scale whether you are allowing it to scale or not usually it should be true the default also it is true if you have a specific reason not to do that you have to do it first at the same time you can change the font family font style weight uh this is for button radius i think this we uh, no no uh, whenever it is uh, or capsule you can change the radius and it becomes almost a rectangular this we saw last time so like this if you pick anything else like uh, let's say a chart chart is something i'm not covered purposefully because it is more of a uh, data visualization if uh, it is more options rather than more understanding and today it was more of basic so i didn't want to confuse with a lot of things so you can see how when if i implement uh, charts what all you will get so you you can have a inline chart and you have to give the data sets to it so data sets are here so most of our time will go in accommodating the data but the actual implementation is this it's the chart right so you have to just give the options and the data set once the data set is given it takes easily this so you can see how it is rendered over here similarly you can render a bar chart a gate a gauge gaussian chart so there are many things that we can accommodate in a very simple way so uh, the main reason why i wanted to show this documentation is uh, i might not be able to cover each and every point every link 
there is another thing called as image animator here uh, you can create animate animations for this you need frames image frames so if you have image frames you can easily develop a image animator without using anything so how do we do that so here there is a simple thing you can see here the hard uh, image becomes small to big and it uses some of the features of it gets blurred over time how it is done you can see there are so many images that are there uh, or rather so many frames are available so when you play this all these frames at a time it gives this effect that is what animation has been always that's how cartoons our animations have always been but last time we saw a different type of an animation where a image we rotated we turned we even had a, a session on that right we i even asked you to uh, you guys to try it out and tell me whether it is working so these are uh, basically the ba uh, base components of harmony on top of this uh, the most other important uh, feature that we need to understand in ui layer is the contents i think the next class is it is about that where we'll be learning different types of containers why containers are needed the very simple example you can see why containers are needed so here uh, when we saw this right all of them are in columns the moment i convert this into go what happens see here what happens so you should know which container to use for what right so i have just uh, created everything in row but it doesn't make any sense not like this was beautified but at least it was more visible but the point here is we need to understand containers because that is uh, inside containers only all this basic components sit because while explaining containers we will not be able to again dig and understand components we are try to cover basic components first then we will have basic containers then we will have advanced containers that will be coming i hope this was uh, informative i think uh, so in this view uh, where what we are seeing if i change this entire column to go see what happens the preview everything is uh, cascaded or stuffed in row this is not what we want right so we will need something that is visible and so once we make it in column it's somewhat better this is what we are closely expecting so this uh, with this we will try to end it